The injured would rush to medical centers in Hoboken and Jersey City. Aaron Delmore is standing by at the Jersey City Medical Center. Aaron, what are you seeing there? Well, the security director here at Jersey City Medical Center told me this hospital is back to normal operations. As the regional trauma center in the area, it received the majority of critical cases here today, 66 people in total. Now, 53 of those people were able to get here on their own. A spokesman for the hospital told me that means that they came either via an NJ Transit bus, some people took themselves, but he told me that those 53 people have been discharged. 13 remain in what he called guarded care. That means that they're being monitored and watched probably for the next few hours. Aaron, what did the emergency response look like? Well, reporters were stationed about a half mile north of the terminal. And from there, we could see ambulances, we could see stretchers and a couple of tents. And I did confirm with the spokesman here from Jersey City Medical Center that that hospital, plus EMS volunteers from Hoboken and Jersey City, were gathered there. They were ready to treat people and triage them on the spot. I also spoke with an NJ Transit worker who was in the ticket area today. He described for me a truly horrifying scene. He told me he saw bright lights coming toward him, then just heard a bang. And I spoke with him about four hours after that crash occurred. I asked him, well, what have you been doing for the rest of this day and afternoon? And he said in that time he was being treated, he was being looked at. They wanted to make sure that before everyone walked off the scene, they were in good shape. Erin, was the hospital prepared for this? The hospital was prepared. This hospital, along with others in the region and some EMS services and ambulance companies, routinely drills with New Jersey Transit. They run these drills about once a year, a spokesman told me. They're prepared for people to come into the hospital under a variety of transportation-related circumstances. He told me that that's how they knew they would be ready for this day, and he said preparedness was key. He told me he's proud of how the hospital handled all of these trauma patients. They went and they had the trauma wing available, but they also set up extra triage room in the cafeteria where they were able to see patients and expedite them through the process. All right, Aaron Delmore, live for us there in Jersey City outside the medical center.